A small community in the Lehigh Valley has been rocked by a double homicide investigation involving two teenagers. The Northampton County District Attorney announced 17-year-old John Bradley is under arrest for killing his ex-girlfriend and her mother in North Catasauqua last week. Another teenage girl may have also been involved. Action News reporter Catherine Scott is live in the Satellite Center with the details. Catherine. Matt, investigators recovered surveillance footage. They also recovered DNA. Now this 17-year-old has been taken into custody. The defendant and the victim were at one time uh, boyfriend and girlfriend and had broken up in August, in August of 2023. And, and he had recently been informed that um, by, by the victim, RG, that she had begun a relationship with another person. 17-year-old John Bradley charged in the brutal double homicide, fatally stabbing his ex-girlfriend, 16-year-old Rihanna Glass, and her 39-year-old mother, Rosalind Glass, last Thursday in North Catasauqua. Investigators say Bradley then stole the mother's car and crashed it, seriously injuring an unidentified 14-year-old girl who was seen around the home at the time of the murders. Investigators say both were ejected from the speeding car and a knife was found near Bradley. The 14-year-old is now being treated at CHOP. The double homicide happened last week on the 1100 block of Railroad Street. Rosalind Glass was found at the top of the stairs with stab wounds and pronounced dead. Rihanna, a junior at Northampton Area High School, was found dead on the floor of a bedroom, also with stab wounds. The Northampton County DA said Bradley had been in a previous relationship with Rihanna. About a week before the double homicide, the DA said Rihanna had called Bradley to let him know she'd moved on. Last Wednesday night, Rihanna told a family friend that Bradley was coming over. Hours later, that same friend received a text that Bradley would not leave. Their bodies were found on Thursday. Those who knew the mother and daughter have gathered to remember them in the days that have passed. I bought some flowers and then I say a little prayer. I pray that we'll get the justice and for her soul. I can still feel her aura like st she's still alive. I don't want to think that she's gone completely. Bradley is being held without bail. The DA says he intends to try him as an adult. We're live from the Satellite Center, Catherine Scott, Channel 6, Action News, Tam. So sad. Thank you, Catherine.